Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Choir Master Organist at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Well, today the composer is Sir Charles Villiers Stanford, one of the great names in English music. Stanford, along with Perry, who we uh, had uh, celebrated yesterday, Perry and Mackenzie, these three were known really as the founders of the English musical renaissance. And it was, Stanford was of course the, the unusual one because he was not English, he was Irish. He had been a music teacher, of course he was a composer, he was a conductor. He did not give his first piano recital until he was seven. And when he was seven, he played a program of Beethoven and Mozart. And at age 12, they say that they would put Chopin mazurkas down in front of him and he would play all of them, at least the ones that his hand was big enough to reach some of the large chords. He later, of course, did move to England. He conducted the Bach Choir. He wrote seven symphonies. And he also was the one that people thought would succeed Sir Arthur Sullivan, you know, of Gilbert and Sullivan fame, with the Doily Cart Opera, but that did not happen. He is most remembered for his church anthems. And I've selected a couple just to give you a sense of Stanford's sound. It's a very romantic, very beautiful sound. This is a short anthem that he wrote for the for All Saints Days, and it's called How Beauteous Are Their Feet, Words of Dr. Watts. So here's a little bit of that style. And the piece continues in that kind of beautiful style. It gets to the end of it and it becomes very kind of majestic. And you hear... So there were a number of anthems that were similar in that kind of style. He, of course, also had to write music for the services in cathedrals in England. And what's most known, not just with Stanford, but composers in the century that he lived, would be Magnificats and Nunc Dimittis. And certainly the Magnificat that he wrote in 1904 in G major is one of the most beloved. It calls for a boy soprano, that will not be me, the piano will give you that. And at the beginning, of course, that text that says, my soul does magnify the Lord. So it's as if there was this angel. And so in the organ, you hear this. that kind of going along, and then the boy soprano comes in and sings, my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. And then the choir joins and comes in. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, 
We've done it here at Plymouth Church a number of times, not with a boy soprano, but with one of our wonderful soprano soloists. So here's a little bit to give you an idea of his Magnificat. So his music goes on in that beautiful, lovely style. I would also just mention that when I was in London one time early on in the 1970s, I visited Herbert Howells, who we have mentioned previously. And I remember going into his office at the Royal College of Music, and on the wall was a big picture of Stanford. There was also one of Perry. And I just remember, what did I say to this man who went so far back in history? And I said, oh, Dr. Howells, uh, I see Stanford, I see Perry. And he said, yes, they were wonderful, they were my teachers, they are gone, but I'm still here. And that was when I first saw this photo of Charles Villiers Stanford. He also, of course, wrote a set of beautiful Latin motets. They are early works dating from the 1880s, one called the Sung a Lot, called Beati Quorum Via, the words from Psalm 119, blessed is the man who walks in the counsel of God. But I thought the other thing he was known for was that he, of course, did write for the organ. So I want to play a short, lovely piece because as I said, I said at the beginning, he was Irish. So he set a sweet melody uh, that is on the title, it just says, based on an Irish church melody, which I'm sure actually you'll recognize. Music of Charles Villiers Stanford. Have a wonderful day.